I am so rusty. I haven't been in front of the camera in so long, but welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I'm gonna be doing the Iris Palmer salmon, 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 I don't know, tacos. I have all the ingredients, so I have jalapenos. She used the sweet and spicy jalapenos, but I didn't have time to go to Trader Joe's, so I used these. Honey, sriracha, Creole seasoning, lemon pepper. She uses goat cheese but i like feta cheese so i want to try with both strawberries dash original blend it's a seasoning i got my salmon right here i didn't use the salmon that she used but this should do i was in a rush she also uses a lemon and this butter i know she said a whole stick of butter let's see and also white corn tortillas i don't know if she used white corn i know it's something corn tortillas so this will do but right now guys i'm gonna chop everything up and then i'll be back So I chopped up my jalapenos and I also chopped up my strawberries. So now I'm gonna season the salmon with, is it salmon or is it salmon? Salmon, I don't know why I wanna do it in this order better. So we're gonna use lemon pepper. I already feel myself sneezing. I'm gonna use a generous amount because I like my stuff extra seasoned. And then I'm gonna use this one, it's not opened yet. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. I didn't know I sprinkled that much. This is the dash seasoning, I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Creole seasoning. And I'm making a mess. So the only person that I have here to try is my mom because she's the only one that eats salmon in this house. I hope she don't say it's too seasoned because she don't like salty food. So I'm gonna take a stick of butter and I'm gonna put it on the pan. She said a whole entire stick of butter. I'm gonna do this on the low because if my mother sees me doing this, she's gonna have a heart attack. So let's go over here. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't her recipe, so we're gonna do it the way Iris does it. Okay guys, so the butter is pretty much melted. I'm gonna take the salmon now and I'm gonna put it inside the pan or whatever, skillet, whatever people call this. Why is it not sizzling? This is hot enough here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you would put it down. I didn't know. I'm, I'm, I am no cook. I am no chef. I like to eat. I just like when the food is cooked already. You said the, the butter is pretty much melted. That butter is still right there. It's strong. It's going strong. Nah, it's, it's as skinny as me, this butter. Clearly, I'm not a cook. I like to just eat. Okay, guys. Now, while the salmon is cooking, I'm going to do the sauce. So, she uses honey. I don't even like honey, but I'm willing to try because I love trying new things. I'm so open to trying new things. Ooh. This isn't no fancy honey, but. <laughs> can't ever, you can't just ever do nothing in a Spanish household, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna take the honey. Every, this is background noise, guys. That's just what it is. Whatever. I'm gonna take the honey. <laughs> and I'm gonna put. Nah, man. We, we ain't about to be here all day. And I'm gonna put a significant amount. And then I'm gonna take the sriracha. My mom doesn't like spicy food like that, but she's gonna have to. The magazine chooses. So, she's gonna have to eat this. The other way, Abby, how's the juice gonna come out? Mash, please. <laughs> this, this video is just, I'm so sorry for, for the viewers. I'm trying to be all classy and stuff, but. Damn, did I put too much? <laughs> you can tell I don't cook. You can tell I definitely don't cook. Wow, this house is fancy. All right, Get now we queen. have. Got your queen. Now we have. How you turn this on? All right. Oh, is this gonna go everywhere? Oh no, this is about to go everywhere. Oh, and hold on. Here, ghetto. Here, ghetto, because you obviously don't know how to use technology. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, this video is like feeling like a fail. Well, you did say you wanted background noise a little bit. Yeah, I did. I did want background noise because I like. I said it over freaking novelas. 
Yeah, I like I like when the videos are natural, and I haven't done a video in a long time. I'm a little rusty. My mom's in the background watching Abuela, so it's making me not concentrate. This is a little runny. Is this supposed to be like this? This is a little f fish. Oh, the salmon. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add more of this because this is not watery. Hers wasn't that watery. Here, so chef, do this real quick. Wow, right, look at this. Okay, now I'm gonna take the butter and I'm gonna put it on top, just like she did. Honestly, this looks like it's about a hit. So I'm gonna go back to this. So she said that you're gonna know if it's good when you try it. You're gonna see what it's missing. Mm. It's very good. Okay. I think it needs a little more lemon though. Wow, that's mad good. I never expected that to be good. I don't even taste like honey. I think mine's is gonna be watery, waterier than hers because I don't like honey like that. But I don't even taste the honey taste. Mm-hmm. She knew what she was doing with this one. So the sauce is done. Even though my plate is mad messy, my little bowl is mad messy and that's bothering me, but because I'm trying to be classy. But no classiness over here, clearly. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to this. How do I know if it's done? Salmon is done fairly quick. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take the salmon and I'm gonna put it in this pan. I don't have another one and this can't go in the oven, so we're just gonna put it in here. This is fine for me. And I'm gonna put all the sauce in here too. And then she said to put it in the oven for, I don't know how much minutes, but I'm gonna check. I never tried goat cheese, and I love feta cheese, which is why I got feta cheese, just in case I didn't like goat cheese. Oh my God, the smell of this is already making me sick. So guys, when I had COVID back in February, my taste came back slowly, came back normal. But then in June, everything completely tasted disgusting. Like the first thing I tried was a Coke, and the Coke tasted like perfume. And then I had Leo try it, I was like, yo, taste this. And she's like, well, what's wrong with it? And I'm like, it tastes like perfume. She's like, no, it's, no, it doesn't, it tastes normal. So I'm like, oh my God, this is weird. That's the first time I noticed that I had this condition, this after COVID condition. So now cheeses, oh, hold on, I got plastic on it. Cheeses and just some foods in general just taste so disgusting. So I'm gonna try this, it smells like yogurt. Mmm, this is good. This is really good. But this one smells funny. This one smells like, like yogurt and chemicals. Let me smell this. It's called parosmia, by the way. If you have like a weird taste, like some, some things taste like metal, some things taste like blood, like eggs, I cannot eat eggs at all. Eggs is like out of my life. I can't have eggs. It tastes like blood and metal and pennies. It's so disgusting. So I hope that this, this um, taco hits because my taste buds are crazy now and it's very sickening and annoying. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take the salmon out of the oven. You know what I want when I get older? I want a crab farm. I want a crab farm so I could eat them. But like, how are they gonna, how am I gonna have more? All right. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna take this. Ooh, it broke. She just crumbles it apart. She uses her fingers, but I don't know if I want to use my fingers. Mmm, this looks good. It looks good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks good for someone that likes seafood, but I don't, so no, it doesn't look good for me. But if it was chicken, it would look good. I feel like I wish it was a little more seasoned. So now that this is nice and chopped, I'm gonna take the tortilla and I'm gonna put it in the pan for like a couple minutes just so they can get a little hot and crunchy. Bloop. All right guys, now I'm gonna take the salmon. I see why she used her hands. And then I'm going to take some of the strawberries. <clears throat> I'm gonna 
some jalapenos. I like a lot of jalapenos, so. Some cheese, she said. I'm gonna try the feta. Let me, let me try, no, I don't wanna try it, because I'm gonna do feta. Sorry, Iris. I just have a COVID defect. So feta cheese. And then, let me use this one for the sauce. The sauce, mmm, it looks so good. I've been dying to try these tacos. Every time she makes them on her Instagram, I'm like, yo, can she post a recipe? And then when she did, I was so souped. I watched it three times. All right, now I'm gonna try it. <laughs> she put her hands up like it feels for her. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Cheers. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Fire. I'm gonna make one for my mom real quick before the camera dies so you guys can see her opinion. Okay, big mom. Yeah, it's good. I put goat cheese on hers because she likes everything. I just can't have that cheese, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah, Luna, Luna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said a good job. So good. Muy bueno. I recommend these tacos 10 out of 10. They were so, so good. Like, they taste exactly like I thought they were going to taste. Muy bueno. Thank God. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.